If you clicked in this video, then you also probably invest in the S&P 500, or at least you know what it is. If you're like me, during all-time highs, you always ask yourself the same question. Should I buy it now, or wait some time for the price to fall, since the fund is at all-time highs right now? You see, I know that we should just keep dollar cost averaging, since time in the market always beats timing the market, and in the long run, there's a very high probability that the market will go up substantially and buying now for a couple of percentage points, higher or lower, won't make that much of a difference. However, as humans we always strive to get the best deal on everything, or a discount at least. I think it's just in our nature. With that in mind, I've decided to do a fun little Python project that tracks the S&P 500 and sends me an email notification when there's three straight trading days with losses, after which I would invest my money. I chose this condition because, after some research, I realized that it's extremely rare to have four or more losing days in a row. This usually only occurs five times in a year, and I want to invest more than five times in a year. However, three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back losing days happen around 10 to 15 times a year, which comes to around once per month, and that's the frequency I usually invest. Plus, if ChatGPT is correct, after a 3-day losing streak, the next trading day has a 70% gain chance and around 30% loss. So, it's quite likely that if I implement this strategy correctly, I will see gains at least the next day and I won't feel that weird emotion of buying at the wrong time in my head. It's just a personal thing, because I do realize that this probably will make little to no difference in the long run if I compare my gains to someone who, let's say, buys the S&P 500 weekly at the same time. After a few hours, I was able to create this Python script that runs daily on my computer, which uses a few libraries to extract the price of the S&P 500 on a daily basis and whenever it would detect a 3-day losing streak, it would trigger a function that sends me an email notifying. This email includes a table displaying the last three closing prices and highlights the consecutive losses, after which I would log into my broker account and make my investment. However, let's actually see if it works as planned. Let me compile and execute the code, and let's open my Gmail to see if anything happens. And we do indeed receive an email. The structure is pretty simple, just a red alert and a table that contains the last three closing prices proving the decrease in value. But let's just pull up Google's graph to make sure. And again indeed we see that from 4th of September till 6th we had a downtrend and the last closing price of $5,471 matches with the email. Going now to my broker's account, where I mostly use this strategy and invest in the S&P 500 ETF, plus some real estate investment trusts, we can see that in the last year I am up around 12%, without counting dividends, which is alright. By the way, I'm from Portugal, so that's why you see a different currency, but the value is pretty close to the dollar. Let's not forget again that we are in a very aggressive bull market currently, and I'm curious to see how my portfolio will do in the future, with this being my main strategy.